Here's a problem I see every once in a while, and it's when a stair tread, the last stair tread, is actually sticking past the stair stringer. And you can see here that the upper tread looks like it's sticking past the stringer about three quarters of an inch to an inch, especially if you compare it to the other treads. You can see this one here, it's sticking back just a little bit. Now here's a drawing that I did. You can see that the stair tread is sticking past like the, like the picture before. And um, the reason is because they didn't add an extra inch to the back of the stringer here. And you can see here that the stair tread is positioned in the same manner as the previous picture, which is actually creating a problem. The stair stringer itself was laid out incorrectly. Now here's another view of the stairway with the stair tread in the correct position. And you can see that it's actually sticking out um, about an inch. And I'm just imagining that's what it is because this is where the most common problem comes in. It's because they didn't lay the stringer out correctly. Now here's another side view. So this is what the stair stringer actually um, looks like if we were to draw it and provide an illustration for it, except that the stair tread here is uh, actually, it isn't in its right, isn't in the right spot, isn't in the right location. Now here's the stair stringer where I went ahead and I added an inch and you can see it at the top. I probably should have done this a little differently, but if you look at the top, you can see that it doesn't come to a point anymore. I went ahead and I added an inch to the top of the stair stringer. And with this, I can place the stair tread in the correct spot and have it line up with the other stair tread. So bottom line is if you're going to build a stairway like this, you're going to need to compensate for the stair tread. And uh, here's another view of it. And then, of course, here's another view of it up against a landing to give you a better idea. You can see where I added the inch to the face of the stringer where it meets the landing. Now, here's something else you're going to need to do, and that will be to add a strip of wood, um, preferably about an inch wide, to make up for the difference um, in this type for this type of a stairway. Now, if you don't add this, then instead of having a 10 inch ride, a 10 inch run, I should say, you're gonna end up with the last step having an 11 inch run. However, that won't be the case in this example. This example here, the upper tread is going to be about 11 inches. The second tread down is going to be about nine inches because you're encroaching in on the run and then you're gonna go back to your 10 inch steps. So this thing, this step right here creates two problems and it's all because the stair stringer wasn't laid out correctly. And by that also, I wanna say that whoever installed the stair treads could have actually done it differently. And um, if, you, if you took each one of the treads and match them up to the upper tread. So if you stuck them all out the same distance, three quarters of an inch to an inch past the stringer and um, made them parallel to each other, running all the way down at an angle, then you would have, then you would be fine, except for the fact that this particular stairway has not installed the upper one inch extension piece on the landing. So even if you took this stairway here and you made all of the concrete treads the same distance to where they each would have had a 10 inch run or an equal individual stair run, the same size. If you don't compensate for the top one by adding the one inch extension to the landing, then you're going to end up with each individual step being, let's just say, the same size of 10 inches until you get to the last one where it would be 11 inches. So it's critical, it's very important to have that extension at the top um, to make these uh, stairs work out according to building codes. Don't forget, most building codes only allow you a 3 eighths of an inch 
vari variable or distance between um, tread runs. So if you have a 10 inch tread and then 11 inch uh, tread run, then obviously you're going to have a problem. Here's another thing I see stair builders and carpenters doing every once in a while, and that's simply cutting an inch off of the back of the um, stair tread, the last stair tread. And I'm going to leave that up to you. This is another solution to, the, to this problem that could work as long as you keep the face of the landing flat. However, you would not have a nosing for the last um, step which would be which could make it into a uncomfortable stairway but again this is another option anyway that's it uh, the, this is a problem like i said i run into it every once in a while and it's the same thing every time it's in the layout we've got to double check all of our measurements and double check those measurements uh, you know cut our stair stringers put them in place um, put a couple sample treads up in there, something, anything. Do some other measurements and then um, cut the rest of the stairway and put it together. But to simply cut everything, throw it up in there, and then run into a problem like this without double checking anything is just going to create problems. So if you're fantastic, you're great, you never make any mistakes, you can do it in one shot. But if you're like me, every once in a while, you're going to make a mistake and double checking those mistakes or the potential mistakes, catching them before they happen could be a lifesaver.